Hello everyone, it is Rob here from Woodward English, streaming live from New Zealand. Monday, uh, not Monday morning, <laughs> Saturday morning in New Zealand. It's nine o'clock in the morning. How are you? Remember the first five minutes we say hello to everyone and see where everyone is from and what time it is in your country and everything like that. And then we get into the into the into the lesson or the conversation, the relaxed conversation. So let me know where are you from, what time is it, and how your week has been. My week has been. Thank you for asking. <laughs> hey, first people are starting to turn up. We've already got um Violet in there and Abdelodes in there, and who else is there? Mestul. We've got uh, Maria Alexandra Angulo. Hello, how are you? How's it going? Where are you from and what time is it there? So, you know, the first couple of minutes, just say hello to everyone. Before we begin the, the lesson, okay, oh, just so you know, if suddenly the live stream finishes, is because there's a little storm right now and the power might get cut. <laughs> there's lots of wind and rain, so hopefully everything's going to be fine. Ah, so Violetta's from Colombia. Cool. Ebda's here. Hello. I'm great, thank you. Abdel. I won't say your whole name. It's quite long. Eb Ebda's here too. Where are you from? Let me know. Remember, these conversations are relaxed. It's just a relaxed conversation, talking about different topics. And today's topic, you may have seen, I'll put it in the chat, is the following. Let's have a look. I'll put it in here. Boom. There it is. What was the last book you read? And what was it about? It's Gabriela. Hello. You're from Turkey? What about Gabriela? Where are you from? Okay. Have you got something to drink? Rafa from Spain. Have you got a coffee or a tea or some drink or water or something naughtier? <laughs> How's the week been? How's your week been? What have you been doing? Any stories or adventures that you can tell me? Hey, Mary from Peru. Mary Falcon. How's it going? Just a couple more minutes before we begin dive into everything got Ceci from Colombia everyone slowly appearing today yeah so I mentioned it's gonna be a really in I think in Antarctica uh, there's some type of very very cold front that's coming it's like they had like the lowest temperatures in a long time like minus 70 degrees or something like that and that from Antarctica is coming up to New Zealand. So it's going to be very cold. It's going to be wet and windy. And it started last night. But it's great just listening to the rain in bed. It's like, ah, oh, yes. Ah, Este from Costa Rica. How's it going? Elias from Brazil. Adriana from USA. The weather is fantastic. It is raining at the moment. Great moment to be at home. Hello, Hannah. How's it going? Ines from the Dominican Republic. I always want to say Republica Dominicana. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the Dominican Republic. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, it's Friday. For most of you, it's Friday. It's Friday evening. Afternoon, evening, or night. Monday morning. Uh, not Monday. Are we saying Monday morning? That's what happens when you do a live stream in the morning. You just forget lots of things. <laughs> Pepe Sensei, you're from Peru. Yolit or Carola from Argentina. Which do you prefer, Yolit or Carola? Carola. Carola. Uh, Sakib, I'm doing fine, thank you. Hey, Susana, so good to see you again. How's everything in, in, in Barcelona? I'm doing well. Juan Cortes in El Salvador. <laughs> Okay, what is it? It's yep, yeah, we've got the five minutes out the way. Let us have a look. Well, before I'll show you where this is. Um 
Let's quickly go to this. Show the website. There it is. Ismail, you're in London right now. That's cool. Okay, so here we're on this on the website uh, with the conversations. And this is just if you want to follow along some of the things. Where is it? There it is. You just go down to the bottom. It says, what was the last book you read? Question 11. That's what we're going to do today. You click on it. And eventually, you will appear here in the video. Oh. And we're going to talk about some of these things here, if you're interested. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this link here, and I'll put it in the chat for you. There you go. If you want to follow. If not, I'm not we're not going to go exactly in order or anything like that. We're just going to have a relaxed conversation. And let's go to this. Dum, 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 dum. Let's see who else has turned up here. Stephanie, Dominican Republic. F uh, we've got um, Fatmir from Kisovo. Cristina from Brazil. Your lead, your lead, your prefer. Okay, good. Um, Ariani, hello, how's it going? Federica, fr ciao, Federica from Italy, how's it going? <coughs> okay, so I just need my version on the screen. So this is what we're looking at today. Uh, where am I? How do I point to this? It's like the screen's the reverse. So I have to point in that direction to go there. Okay. So what is the topic? It says, what was the last book you read? And what was it about? Just a relaxed conversation, talking about books and reading in general and everything like that. Hey, Magali. I'm Ellen from Israel. Israel. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. <coughs> Okay, so this is the topic, talking about books. So, what we want is, a very simple way to answer this, is the following. We're going to actually learn a lot of vocabulary today. This is the easy part, before we begin to suffer. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the last book I read was about, beep. Oh. The last book I read was, and it was about, don't need was again, there it is. So, let's have a look. The last book, I was want to test something. Um, one second, does that appear? Uh, it's not appear. okay. I thought I had something set up where I click some buttons and it appears in the chat, but uh, not happening. Oh well. Not to worry. I need to test it later. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it does appear. Remember to subscribe to the Woodward English channel. Really appreciate it. Ha. I need to put a space in there. Okay. If you're not already subscribing, do so. That way you'll be notified when I'm live and when I have a new video. So let's have a look at the topic. The last book you read. Oh, I was going to bring my books down here. I was going to bring my books. There's, i actually got two books. I finished one book, not last night, the night before last, Thursday night for me. I really appreciate the material you create from Bolivia. Thank you, Maribel. Really appreciate it. I'm glad I can help. you got students. Is it for you or for your students? Franklin. I'm from Brazil, and the last book I read was The Phantom of the Opera. I was, I, I was almost going to sing that, <laughs> and you don't want me to sing. The Phantom of the Operas. <clears throat> I told you. It's like everyone disappears now. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. Really? What was that about? Okay, some of these books and things I do know, but I have to ask you, what is it about? And the reason I ask, you know, it was about, beep, because that is where you need to create more structured sentences because if i say the last book i read was i don't know harry potter harry potter that's like that's easy to say but the next part it was about the that is where you need to use your english or your students need to use your english and that is what we want so if you give me a book Tell me about the book. I'm interested to know because maybe today we can learn about some really cool books that we can we can read later on. So what do we got there? So Phantom of the Opera. Okay. 
Kuda says, My last book is My Adventures of Love with My Fiance. Is that a book or is that your personal life? <laughs> uh, last book I have read. Okay, so this is this is interesting. This is look at this. This is this is English for you. Okay, we've got read. Okay, I'm gonna put it twice here. <clears throat> Look at the, you know what's going to happen here. Look at this. The pronunciation. Read. Read. Oh, English is so interesting. <laughs> the pronunciation. I read. Present. I read many books. Past tense. Read. I read many books last year. Okay. Read. Read. Welcome to English. <laughs> okay. So, um, what else we got there? <clears throat> so, yeah. So, don't don't write it like, like the color red. It's, even though it sounds like it. You have to write it like that. Um, a thousand splendid suns. Glider, A Thousand Splendid Suns. Why does that book sound familiar? Who is the author of the book? And also, what's it about? It sounds very familiar. Um, Edra Jane. Endra Jane. How long does it take to read an empire book? I only read a chapter or two. You only do one or two chapters. Really? You could be missing... The fun parts of it. How long does it take to read them? It depends on the book. Sometimes it takes me, I don't know, a week. Sometimes it takes me months. Because like I start a book and then one week I only read one chapter and then have to read the next chapter because I'm busy. But yeah. So it depends on each, on each book. Some books are really thick, some are thin. Some are like, oh, I don't want to stop, I don't want to stop. The last, okay, this is uh, Violeta. The last book I read was Creativity SA by my Wallace, ah, by Wallace and Edwin Catmull. It was about, whew, I'm waiting for the answer. Okay. <laughs> Creativity is, is that a motivational book maybe? Rafa says The Outsider by Stephen King. What's The Outsider about? Yolit, you've never read Harry Potter. There are many people that have not read Harry Potter. But I think for a lot of people, uh, for a lot of, okay, maybe not so younger people now. <laughs> but when it came out in the, was it the end of the 90s, the 2000s, it came out? It was like the first, it actually got people, kids reading, which was great. And I love that. There was a book or a series of books that got people reading. So, and that, that's what I like about Harry Potter. Yeah, the story was also fine. Um, who, is there anyone else here that has not read Harry Potter? Christina, message retracted. <laughs> okay, um, Yoli, the last book I read was The Silent Suspect by Nell Patterson. What's that about? Is, is that, that sounds like a suspense. Or a thriller. Is that like a thriller or a suspense book? Hello, Buzzy Bloom. I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you good? How are you doing? <clears throat> ah, Garid Hosseini. It's about a girl from Afghanistan who lives in mysterious conditions and how she struggles in life. How she tackles problems. Sounds like a... Yeah, the name sounds very familiar. That so I don't think I've read it. Otherwise, I would remember it like that. But the the name of it sounds really good. It sounds really good. Um, uh, Warfar. Good night, my teacher. My name is Ahmed. I'm from Somalia. Hello. Ooh. Okay. M. Oh God, you got a name that's like. I'm just gonna call you M instead of M one one two three H Z. I'm just gonna call you M. Okay. M. M eleven. I read El Ojo de los Dioses, The Eye of the Gods. 
In English, that's the eye of the gods. It was about uh, the Mayan culture. Ooh, that sounds good. For that one there, I would say the Mayan culture. So, instead of using the apostrophe, Mayan culture. Ooh, I like books that are historical. Can be true or not. I like them based in the past. Really interesting. They used to say the plants can hear and feel. That That's interesting that you mention that because people that talk to plants, that plants grow better and bigger. So I don't know how it, 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 it defies logic. It defies science. But could be true. We don't know. So that's a really interesting. Um, so when you need to use it for medicine, you have to ask for permission. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to use this plant for medicine, and the plant's like, no, <laughs> can't do any, can't. The plant can't run away. It's terrible. <laughs> Poor plants. Uh, Fabiana, the last book I read was Cornelia and the Audacious Escapades of the Somerset Sisters. Wow, that sounds like fun. That, now, for me, when I read that one. It sounds like it is not present day. I have not read the book, but it sounds like something in the past, like in maybe like 1800s or 1900s or 1800s. I don't know if it's true. Is it? Maribel, it's for everyone. I read Animal Farm. Wow, I have not read Animal Farm for a long time. Is it George Orwell, isn't it? It's like where the... All of the animals that they, they, they can speak. And yeah, it does get you thinking. And this was created like a very long time ago. Like 70 years ago, maybe. Yeah, I, I need to read Animal Farm again. I haven't read it. And 1984 is another book by the same author. I need to read that because I've sort of forgotten it. <laughs> <sighs> okay, and uh, Indra Jane says, Reading is to the mind what exercise is the body. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to write that. That's a that's a good one there. Um. Okay, I'll do it up here. We don't need that. Re I'll put that there for now. Not that it's... You should know that. Um. Okay, so... I I've always remember that reading, not not read but the thing, reading is to is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Boom, reading. Thank you very much. This is a great um expression. Reading is like reading like exercises your mind. It's like exercise to your body makes you feel healthier and fitter. Reading to your mind makes you feel healthier and fitter. <clears throat> That's a great... Thank you for sharing that expression. I haven't heard that one like about a couple of weeks or so. But yeah, I, I like that. I think reading's really important. The thing is, like, just some people don't like to read. I don't understand why. I actually got some questions about that. We're going to have lots of questions about reading, but first we're going to look at some different books and things. Um, Glider has a question for me. What does the word hongi mean in Kiwi culture? Okay, this has nothing to do with the, the reading and the books at the moment, but I will let you know anyway, because it's something I can answer very quickly. Okay, a hongi, it's a Maori word. And in Maori tradition, when you go to greet someone, you go to their face like this, and you press your noses together. So instead of shaking hands, you go up to them, and you go, and you breathe in. And it's like you're sharing the, 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 the spirit, you're sharing the energy. And that, that type of greeting, when you press your faces together, is called a hongi. But that's just... Only in, in New Zealand. Hey, Baskerville, great to see you. Glad you could come along. Yulet, yes, it's a thriller or murder mystery. Oh, hi, Mildred. The last book I read was about a ghost. Do you remember the title of it? Hi, Vinay. The book I read was The Little Prince. 
I I have the Little Prince in a, probably about three, four different languages. And I got it in English, I got it in Portuguese, in French, and in Spanish. Yeah. Because, like, re using books to learn another language, if you want to learn, for example, English or improve your English, read in English. You don't need to read big novels. You can read children's books. I read children's books in other languages, and it's like, yeah, because you feel, oh, I'm, I'm just the best. I'm like, <laughs> it, it like feels like you're advancing. It's great. <clears throat> Hello from Russia. Hello, Anna. How's it going? Um, I read, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, Yana, good evening from uh, Azerbaijan. Yay. <clears throat> Paula from California. Don't worry. Don't worry about writing well or not for Corso. Just write. Just write. Santiago from Mexico. You speak Spanish. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> Vitelli, you're late. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Just come and go when you like. Remember, it's relaxed here. Would I like to visit Mexico? Of course I'd like to visit Mexico. I've got some very good friends in Mexico. I've got some friends also. They work at the New Zealand Embassy there. Um, I speak span. Ah, I'm sorry, sir, for my unrelated question. Don't worry, Glider. You're welcome to ask questions at all. Don't worry. And especially if it's about New Zealand. If you have questions about New Zealand, it's always relevant. <laughs> the reason I say that, because sometimes people ask questions that are not to do with this. If it's about New Zealand, yes, I can answer. But other things for other lessons so don't worry glider don't worry hello did this is your first time lies jose welcome it gets a little crazy here <laughs> hey bruna okay so i i want to i have a question for you something do you know about the difference between this on, let's just move this up a little bit the difference between oh actually i'll do it here what is the difference between fiction and non-fiction? Okay, so it went off the chart there. I'll move it. What is the difference between fiction and non-fiction? Who can answer this? The difference between fiction and non-fiction. Maximiliano, you're living in Medellin in Colombia. Nice. You got Tiago also from Brazil. Good evening. The last book was very interesting book. Special train. Anna says, Special train to Samarkand by Gusel Yahina. Okay. What's that about, Anna? Let me know. What's it about? Hello, Pew. Yulit. My first reading in English was Caroline by... <gasps> I don't remember the author. <laughs> Caroline. Oh, Cor Coraline. Cor I said Caroline. Maybe it's Coraline. What's it about? Do you remember what it's about? <gasps> I remember my very first book that I remember. I'm not talking about kids' books. Was when I was probably six years old. My grandmother used to give me like big, serious books for adults when I was like six years old. It's like, here, Rob, have this. And I used to, and it was called I Am David. And they actually teach it at high school, but I got it when I was six years old. And I remember reading as like, wow, like this is difficult. I don't remember m about the story or what it's about, but, and my grandma, I was, I'm very fortunate. My grandmother used to give me books when I was young and I used to read them. And then I used to read, I remember my first series that I used to read was a book called the ha oh, the hardy boys and the hardy boys they were like kids and they were detectives and there's like many 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 types of stories in there this is like ages ago the hardy boys and they had different adventures and solve mysteries and things like that and that was like when i was young too like seven six seven eight something like that and there's another version of this that was with girls, but I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember. Okay, what else we got there? So, you're out of there. 
American, United States. Hello, you like my channel, Lom? Thank you. Learner, I'm new here because your accent is a little strange, just like German or somewhere from Europe. I am from New Zealand. We have like a sort of more of a tendency of a British English, but yeah. Is something real or not? Aha! So this is... Maybe I've got it here. Okay, one second. I'll do it here. Look at this. Boom. It's going to save me time. Real. Oh, hang on. Let's just make this down the... Nope. That's not going to help. One second. Hmm. Okay. Fiction. Why is it like that? It's got a funny thing there. So we've got fiction is not real. It's created from the imagination of an author. So fiction is not real. Exactly. And the other one, actually, let's just copy this, put it here. And nonfiction, oops, let me, uh, let me have a look. Here it is. Might have to use another line. Oops. This is non-fiction. Boom, boom. There it is. Based on... Let me have a look. Oh, nope. Okay, one second. Oh, no. I just did a... Nah. Uh-oh. There it is. <gasps> I hit it when the screen moves. I'm like, no. Okay, we've we've seen that that quote. Fiction, non-fiction. Here it is. Yeah, I take time doing this. Okay, fiction is not real, created from the imagination of an author. For example, I'm sorry, Harry Potter is not real. No, it's not real. Lord of the Rings, I'm sorry, it is not real. It is fiction. It is created from the imagination of an author. And non-fiction is real. It provides us with facts and or events based on real people or true events in the past. Okay? So that is the difference between fiction and non-fiction. Let's see who's put everything there. Uh, oh, Hafiza, the last book I read was Redeeming Love by Francis Rivers. <gasps> Oh, is that a romantic one? Is it like a romance or something? <laughs> or is it a murder one? Oh, <gasps> Paulo Gonzalez, nonfiction. Okay, Baskerville, nonfiction based on real stories. Yeah. Glider, question, reading comfort zone. What does that mean? It's like your comfort zone is the area or space where you feel comfortable. It is where you are Ah, <sighs> you know, you you feel safe and relaxed. And reading comfort zone, it's not something I've heard of before, but I think it's somewhere where you can read safely without a problem. Hey, thank you, Alejandra. I'll have a drink. <laughs> Vitaly says... Um, I missed a lot of your lessons. Don't worry. Oh, unfortunately, I fractured my elbow and had some surgery. My bones were fixed with plates. I'm sorry to hear that, Vitaly. I hope you're feeling better now. I hope you're feeling better. You can join whenever you want. Don't worry. Ah, Siddhartha by Herman Hess. Herman Hess. Didn't he create Outward Bound? And he's got an. He's got some... I think Herman... Oh, I'm pretty sure, didn't he create um, an organization for young people called Outward Bound? I could be wrong. Um, not true. True, T-R-U-E. Um, hello, Alicia. How's it going in Poland? The last book I read was Isaac. What's it about, Om? What's it about? Who's the author? What's it about? So which do you prefer? Do you like reading fiction, non-fiction? I mostly read non-fiction. Sometimes they're a little boring, though. They can be. 
Glider says fiction that describes imaginary events and people. Non-fiction, the opposite. Great one, Glider. Ah, good night. As ciao for corso. See you later. Uh, but yeah, I'll get up early for work. I know for some countries it is really late. I have a thing. I have some buttons here. And I've got world time. And I know what time it is all around the world right now. I know in London it's 10.30 at night. In Mexico it's 4.30. In Colombia it's 4.30 in the afternoon. In Spain it's 11.30. Greece, 12.30. Oh, I'm too... I got some of these. Iran, 2 o'clock. Anyway, that's for me, so I know. <laughs> I added some cool buttons for me. Anyway. Um, uh, hello, Fabby. So I, I like reading fiction, yeah? I love reading non-fiction. I love reading true stories and books. For example, recently I read a book about Pompeii. It was actually like a BBC series or something, but it was all about the life in Pompeii before and, oh, fascinating. It was great. It was great. He's a prophet. Okay. Um, it's 4.01. You must, be, are you in India? I think you're in India. Ah, Michael Martinez. Hello from Dominican Republic. Today is my first time here. Someone else is your first time. The fridge is on the left. The toilet's on the right. Welcome. <laughs> okay. So we've got um, examples of fiction. You've got a book about a princess and a dragon. And the dragon eats a princess. Ah, spoiler alert. And non-fiction, biography, history books, 101 facts about chickens. <laughs> I from uh, Myanmar. Okay, cool. From Turkey also. Okay, I was on a test. In Turkey, it is. Let me have a look. Twelve thirty. Yes, I've only got some of the countries there. And you also from Dominican Republic. Everyone's coming from Dominican Republic today. Cool. Okay, I have some questions. More questions for you. We, there's lots of different types of books. Where do you like? to read okay okay so we've seen this it's out of there ciao goodbye so my question is where do you like to read where do you like to read for example you can read ah uh, here we go look at this you can read. Where is this person reading? Hang on one second. Get rid of that. So we don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, where is this person reading? Where is this person reading? <gasps> I'm reading Digital Fortress by Dan Brown. Fiction. I like fiction books. Cool. Dan Brown with the Da Vinci Code and everything. I've not read Digital Fortress. I have read, read the Da Vinci Code and <gasps> another one, which I forget. I mean, some people like, the, oh, I don't like Dan Brown. I don't think it's interesting. Bushra from KSA. It's your first time here too. Also from India. Self-help books are non-fiction, aren't they? Learner, I'm pretty sure self-help books are non-fiction. They're true. Because they're like, usually, I hope, based on scientific evidence sometimes. Depends on the self-help book. <laughs> but yeah, I would. Cl I like self-help books. If I used to read self-help books, especially when I was like in my twenties, when I was twenty years old. I I used to read them all a lot. Hey, I sing. Good to see you again. Um, Vitali, the book I've been reading for a few weeks, the transcript of Joan of Arc trial, translated from ancient French to English. Wow. So sad and cruel. <gasps> That's something I would read. I would love to read that. The problem is, I'd probably want to read it in ancient French. I can't speak French. I can't speak ancient French. <laughs> uh, but I'd uh, I'd find that fascinating. That's a really good one. Thank you for sharing that. That's cool. Ingrid de la Pava. I love reading articles about space and new discoveries. Yeah, that's cool. I like reading real things too. 
Okay, Bushra likes reading in my office. When you're spo are you supposed to be working? You're supposed to be working. You're just there relaxing, reading comics, <laughs> reading books. <gasps> Learner, you like to reading on the balcony. You like reading on the balcony. Icing likes to read in the living room. Alf Alfania likes to read at the library. Good. This person here is reading. Where is she reading? She has a pile of books. She is reading in an armchair. There it is. In an armchair. That's an armchair. It's not a sofa. It's an armchair. It's for one person. Uh, ah, got a line is a book about a family moving into a house. Oh, and where she finds a door and takes her to a world where her parents please her in everything. But that world was created by a witch to catch children. Oh, and that is, I remember the movie. Is it like a Tim Burton movie? Yole, that's a Tim Burton movie. Now I remember, like, Coraline is like, sounds familiar. It's like, and there's something to do with, like, buttons instead of eyes or something. Tiago, I like to read in my bedroom. Yeah, Anna, I like to read at home, on the floor, like this. On the floor. <laughs> I like to read on the floor. This person's reading, I don't know, a magazine or a comic, not too sure. So I like to read, yep, on the floor. There it is, put it over here, on the floor. Cool. Uh, I like, there is a movie about the book. Yes, okay, so I just saw your comment now about that. I like to read at home on the floor. Yes, that's not crazy. You just read anywhere. On my bed, on my bed or in bed? Look, for example, me, my favorite place is, I like to read in bed at night. That for me is the best, okay? That for me is the best. Just in bed at night, you have a book there and just reading through, it's like, <sighs> it's always, always been my favorite all my life. Um, what else is there? Um, Ingrid in my living room. Jose Alexander, you're so popular in our country, Dominican Republic. Really? <laughs> I just hope I can help teachers and students. That's good. Dominican Republic. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot of people from Dominican Republic today. That's cool. Michael, I don't like to read, but it is very necessary. Some people don't like to read. I would like to read um, baseball about sport. Maybe if you like baseball, you could r like read like a biography, an autobiography or a biography. Depends if the person writes it. Okay, Ashley, look at that. Oh, oh, this is this is a good thing. Now that you mentioned it, you have a biography. Biography is a book about the life of a person. But if, if you have an autobiography, it means that person writes a book about them. For example, if I write an autobiography, it is the life of Rob. The terrible <laughs> life. <laughs> the crazy life of... That's the, that's the title of my book. The Weird and Wonderful Life of Rob. <laughs> What's the title of your book? Your book. You are going to write an autobiography. What is the title of your book? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. What is the title of the book about your life? Okay. What's the title of the book about your life? This is your autobiography. What is the title of the book about your life? <laughs> okay. Um, I like I like to read in bed to Alicia. Oh, I love it. Uh, Rafa, I like to read outside in the garden. Okay, hang on. 
like this one here. Uh, boom! Outside. Okay, it's under a tree. It's not in the garden, but under a tree. <sighs> yeah, I like that. He's reading classics there. But just reading under a tree or reading at the beach. Oh, I like... I think you might notice I like reading. But I haven't read very much in the last number of years. But I'm, I'm starting to read more again. Because reading makes me feel good. And it expands my knowledge. And I, and I like reading. It just, yeah, it makes me feel good. Um, see, I like to read at home. Anywhere else I get distracted. <gasps> I remember when I was an English teacher in Chile, in Santiago. I had to travel like sometimes one hour or one and a half hours in a bus. So what I would do, I'd have a book the whole time. Read on the bus for one hour, one and a half hours. Go to my English class. Do that. And I come home another hour and on the book. Because at that time, oh, I didn't have cell phones. Just just read books. Used to read a lot. Um, What else is there? Uh, yeah, so for me, I can read anywhere. I'm not really worried. Sometimes there are distractions. I rather read in a quiet place. So you don't read at the nightclub, discos, strip club, no. <laughs> in bed, I like to read in my bed or living room. Cool. Will you do the same this video again? I read no Bushra. This one here, um, every two weeks I do a different conversation topic. This is Woodward English question number eleven. There it is. So this week it's about books. Another week it's another topic. Every week it's a different topic. Yeah. Hey, Rodelia. Good morning. W watching from KSA, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Cool. How's it going? Good to see you. Um, yeah, so Bushra, I do... I try to do a live stream every week. I try. Um, and every two weeks it's a conversation. And the other week, I don't know, whatever I think of. Just something different. Um, learner, I guess you read a lot of books. I wish I could read a lot just like you. Now, I'm starting to read again because just in my life I was just too busy. I didn't make time to read. And for me, reading is really important. You know, sometimes I read novels, sometimes self-help books, sometimes uh, non-fiction, like I told you about Pompeii. On the floor. Exactly. Fabiana, I like to read anywhere. That's good. Good one, Fabiana. They have made a film based on this novel. Ingrid. Ah, The Perfume. Yes. I've not seen that movie. I think it's on my list of movies to see. I think my wife saw it. But I, yeah, I haven't seen it. On the Rock. Yeah. Paula Gonzalez says, I recommend reading the books of Pig and Gerald from by Mew, by Moo Williams. It is very easy to read for beginners. That's a good recommendation. So Pig and Gerald. Oh, from Moo. From Moo Williams. Is that Moo Williams is the author or is that a part of the title? Um, Ingrid, I also like to read biographies, especially about the characters my students admire. Oh, interesting. What, like the the characters they admire, characters in in movies or book in interesting. The person spends a lot of time to learn English without any results. <laughs> Your hair using it, that's what's important. Too many mosquitoes under the tree. <laughs> yep, depends on the country. In some countries there's lots of mosquitoes. Uh, how much chance online? Not too sure what you mean there with your question. Tiago, hello teacher. Thank you for sharing this live with me. Don't worry. Ah, oh, teacher Fabi. Hey, Fabi's your teacher. In a disco, you crazy. <laughs> I'm just wondering if anyone heard me. Of course not, of course not. Just that you imagine being in a discotheque nightclub and you're there and you just start reading a book in the corner. What would people think? People are like, what? <laughs> Gone with the wind. The book version of Gone with the wind. 
honestly, I've not seen the movie yet. So, yeah. I'm gonna make... Yeah, you have to make time to read. You like my energy? I always say it's my coffee. It's like the five cups of coffee before I begin. <laughs> How much... How much do I do online? I don't do online classes. This is my online class. I talk to all of my friends online. I don't do private lessons. I prefer to use my time talking to many people at the same time and helping many people. That's why I don't do the private lessons. Until now, the title, find out who I am. Ah. I'm not really into reading, but when I read, I like to do it on the bus. Gwen Natalia. Ooh, Alicia says secrets. Christina Thomas. Can you tell me what it's about or is it a secret? <laughs> it's your first time here, Julia. You like live classes. Good. Uh, ah, by Mo Williams. Okay, that's good. Thank you for clarifying. Because I thought it was like, oh, it could be a part of the title. Celebrities. Tennis players. Ah, okay, that's cool. Elias, I'm not keen on reading, but a long time ago, a friend of mine gave me a book. The book was The Da Vinci Code. I started reading it, and then I couldn't stop reading. It's a great, that's actually a good book to read, because Dan Brown, and the, with, who's the author of The Da Vinci Clothes, like good authors, at the end of the chapter, they leave you with a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger. Okay, cliffhanger. Okay, a cliff. Okay, am I going to try to draw today? <gasps> you know what happens when I try to draw. To, to draw. Ah, uh, it, 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 I end up drawing things I shouldn't draw. Okay, let me try. Okay. Okay, this is a person standing on the top. Okay, with imagination, it's a person. Okay, this is, there's some people on top of a cliff here, okay? Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Usually I draw rude things <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> this one I'm safe today. Okay. This type of rock face, this is a cliff. Okay. You climb up a cliff. Okay. Now, a cliffhanger is like you imagine someone. Okay, I'm going to draw a bigger person now. This, this is not to scale. So you, you like imagine a person holding on. Okay, the person's holding on is like, ah. Uh, okay, I should do his arms longer. <laughs> I was going to put some more arms here. <laughs> He's got four arms. <laughs> anyway, this is a cliff. This rock, a solid wall of rock. Okay, so a cliff is like a wall of rock. Not rock music, just a rock. This is a cliff. And a cliffhanger is like you imagine a person hanging, holding onto the edge of the cliff like this. Oh, you probably can't see, can you? It might be difficult. Anyway. The person is hanging onto a cliff. Now, you don't know what's going to happen. It's full of suspense. Is the person going to fall? Or is he going to be safe? We don't know. Anything. Maybe these two people at the top, these little dwarf people, maybe they're going to stand on his hands and he's going to fall. Or maybe those two people are going to pull him up. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know. This is a cliffhanger. And cliffhangers are typical, like on Netflix, at the end of an episode, there is a cliffhanger. It does not mean someone is hanging from a cliff. No, it means there's a situation where it's like, oh, 
You don't know what's going to happen. Suspense. Nerves. You don't know what's going to happen. It's a cliffhanger. And good authors, they put a cliffhanger at the end of their chapters. On Netflix or in television, at the end of the episode, there's a cliffhanger. It's like, oh, you want to see the next episode. But in books, at the end of the chapter. So that's a cliffhanger. Okay? Random things. And and the reason I gave this vocabulary, because um, ESL Elias Eduardo, he said Da Vinci Code's a really good book, and I didn't want to stop reading. Why? Because the author Dan Brown put cliffhangers at the end of every chapter, and it's like, oh, you want to know what happens next. So you read the next chapter. And at the end of the chapter, something something else happens. Anyway. Um, hi, all the... Hi. Well, can't read that one. The last book I read was Sleeping Beauty. Good Revelia. I'm here. Crazy. Not different. <laughs> that's, the na- that's the name of your book. I'm, not, I'm here. Crazy. Not different. Wrong place. Wrong time. <laughs> that's the name of your book. My first time success. <laughs> oh, your first? I thought that was the name of your book. Nwango. Great to have you here from Nigeria. Am I native English? Yes, in New Zealand. It's, we've got three official languages. English, Maori, sign language. So yes, English is my first language. My native language. Uh, El Ron, I don't do online classes. I don't do, I do these ones. Um, do you explain lessons on this channel? Yes! Go to the search, you'll see many, 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 many. I've got like over 200 videos about many different topics. Do versus make. Do versus do and does. Uh, Conditionals, grammar, vocabulary, phrasal verbs, idioms. Lots of different things. But these live lessons are relaxing. A conversation with my friends all around the world. We just talk about... Lots of different things. The series of after. My way of teaching is good. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I bet the hanger's gonna drop. You think he's gonna drop? I think they're gonna stand on his head. My brother. I don't, as I mentioned before, yeah. It's always hard to draw on a whiteboard. Me, I have no problem drawing on a whiteboard. What is difficult for me is I'm using a mouse. I'm using a mouse to draw. That is difficult. Wow. Does he read comments? Yes, I do read comments. I can't say your name. Normally, I say people's names, but you have one of the Arabic symbol. Uh, I can't really see it. Um, Oh, Julia says, or Julia. I've started to to read um, books in English. That's good. Oh, I'm reading Pride and Prejudice. But the vocabulary is formal. Now, Pride and Prejudice is a difficult book to read in English. If you're starting to read, I'd probably recommend some other books. Because Pride and Prejudice is difficult sometimes for native speakers. Yes, the language is very formal, peculiar, oldish English. Yeah, so if you want yeah, don't give up. But I recommend some other books first. Yeah, definitely recommend some other books first. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm explaining about the cliffhangers. Interesting to learn about the cliffhangers. What is the meaning of Woodward? It is my last name. My name is Rob Woodward. That's it. And the meaning of the my last name, a lot of surnames... In English, come from professions in the past. Baker, person that made bread. John Baker, Baker. Um, Smith comes from blacksmith, a person that used to make weapons and armor or things from metal. Smith comes from blacksmith. A lot of names like um, Potter, Harry Potter, Potter, because they make pottery. So a lot of surnames in English come from old professions in the past because... Like, John! And in the village, there's like maybe three Johns. Like, John... Which John? Oh, John Smith, you know? Or John Potter. 
because you know I want to know which one so we use the, s the surnames were based on professions in the past and Woodward refers to a person that used to protect the forests and the woods of the the kings um, a path along the top of rugged cliffs yeah okay so that is the cliff so again some of you have said what the title of your book was okay let's just remove that remove my brilliant drawing what is the title of the book about your life i love all your uh, trini says i love all your videos the last book i read it was five love languages Ooh. but it wasn't in english i'm going to start reading english books yeah all five love languages i imagine it's something to do with love but it's or is it like a self-help Ooh, what what's it about tell me trini what is that book about? Sounds interesting. Yes, I recommend reading books in English. It sounds... Um, some people might think, that's, that's crazy. Read children's books. Seriously, read children's books. Or books about topics you're interested in. If you are interested in football slash soccer, you could read a book about... A true book or something like that. Just read uh, non-fiction books about topics you're interested in. Or just children's books. That's what I do. When I want to learn another language. I only speak English. But other languages. Reading children's books. Wonderful. Because the vocabulary is not as difficult. The structures are what you need to know. They're brilliant. Do it. Don't worry about it. So definitely... The best artist, Anna. Oh, if if you saw me on a whiteboard, you'd be amazed by my incredible talent. <laughs> I tried to say that without laughing, which means it's not true. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I want to read that book. I've heard about that book. It's about, um, from what I know, it's like a rich dad teaches different things from a poor dad. And it's not necessarily about money. It's about mentality. Okay. It's like helping your children become successful. Not necessarily with money, but successful in life. I've not read it, but it's a book that's on my li I've got like a list of like 300 books that I want to read. You need a reading class. I did create just recently some very short, simple reading Reading videos about the seasons, about winter, summer, spring, autumn, fall. So I, they're just some very basic reading things. Ooh, what I could do maybe next week. I have a great story. I have an excellent story. I have a story that I used to read when I was teaching English in front of students. And I would read the story like sentence by sentence. And the students will be listening. And then it, it's just a good story. I might do that next time. Yeah. I might do that one. Let, I'll think about it. It's a good one. Because this week's conversation. Next week, not conversation. I'll do a reading. And then the next week, be conversation again. Okay. Um, Cinderella. Yeah. Even the classics. <gasps> yeah, those are good. Um, Alphania. If you can read some of the classic books like Cinderella, um, what do you call it? Little Red Riding Hood. Some of these classics, Beauty and the Beast, because you know the story. But reading it in English or another language is like, ah, I know that story. Like, like I know it in Spanish, it's in Asientas. And it's just like, oh, because the name's different in English. So it's like, ah, and then you learn the different things. That, how do you say pumpkin in the other language? So you know the story, but you start learning certain vocabulary. So it's a great thing. What do you call it? They're not nursery, like classic children's stories. Lavinia says, IQ 84 by Haruki Murakami. What's that about? Oh, IQ 84. What's it about? Title book of my life is... Memory of a geisha, <laughs> geisha. 
<laughs> That's the, your title. Are you? You're not a geisha. <laughs> uh, unless you're serious. Oops, I shouldn't be laughing. Are you a native English bushra? Yes, I'm a native English speaker bushra. I'm not learning English. I learn lots of languages. That's my problem. <laughs> I'm a native English speaker. I'm from New Zealand. I've been teaching English for. 25 years a long time i've been a teacher for 25 years i think yeah wow it's a long time it's older than some of you um it's a good idea yeah hi ella i've changed your name oh good i'm good i can read it now Allah. Allah. good yeah it's easier to read because sometimes when you have the arabic characters i can read arabic but they're like really small and difficult to read okay i have another question for you so we've already mentioned where people like to read so some people like to read on an armchair sometimes they like to read under a tree sometimes they like to read in the park on a blanket sometimes in the park on the blanket um yeah i love those reading videos do you that's good yolet i'm not too sure because they're not very popular i mean not many people have been watching them so i think hmm, i don't know if i should continue doing more reading videos we will see uh luna says rich dad poor bad <laughs> 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 i'll say that again Rich dad, poor dad. <laughs> I got some sound effects now. Uh, is it about the rich dad who didn't attend university? Give him financial freedom knowledge and poor dad who got lots of degrees and teaches him to be an employee. Ah, I want to read it. Hello, I'm Casimir. Hello, Casimir. How's it going? Was that Mar? Oh, that. Whether there's Arabic. It written, it's really hard for me to read. Is our ma? Oh, yeah, I won't read it. I recommend Island in the Sun by Arthur C. Clark. Arthur C. Clark is written like how many hundreds of books, hasn't he? He's written, he wrote so many books. Island in the Sun. Tell me, what is it about? It sounds, it's a, it's like a, it's like a science fiction book. What what's the island in the sun about? Think like a monk by Jay Shetty. Oh, tell me what's that about? It's about thinking like a monk. <laughs> Is that like a self help book? Where you can think to be more relaxed in life, maybe? I don't know. I like those types of books. Hello Wildy, how's it going? Okay, so the title of your life, some of you have mentioned that. Uh, what type of books do you like to read? It is great and fun to teach languages through reading. Yes, your energy is always high. When I'm live, <laughs> when, it, when, it, when the live lesson finishes, I just go to bed and I sleep for, for 24 hours. <laughs> Not true. I usually have something else to do. I usually play football after. Anyway. Um, so what type of books do you like to read? What type of books do you like to read? All right, okay, I'll write that question. What type of books do you like to read? Hello. Hello from Egypt. Ah, okay. That begins with M. Uh, sorry, just thinking in Arabic. Self-help books? Yes, learner. Good. I like reading self-help books too. I'm reading one now called The Happiness Trap. It's, the, the author is from Australia. I, don't, I can't remember who the author is. The Happiness Trap. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm, at, I'm in the process. I'm like chapter 5 or something like that, but it's really interesting. Hello, Ilona. How's it going from Austria? In Austria. Yeah, I like reading. I also like to read. Ooh, 
You like to read psychological thrillers? Sometimes I like to read um, fantasy books also. My, the first books that started... Okay, not my first books. When I was like 14, I read a series of books which were fantasy. And it's like, oh, I just wanted to read and read and read and read. The author is called David Eddings. He's my favorite author. And, I, and, I, and from there, it helped me want to read more and more and more. Five Love Languages was about the different... Great, Trini's giving me an explanation of what it's about. Five Love Languages was about the different ways to have the people... Uh, the, the different ways people have to express their love with their mate. Ah, those are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Wow. Oh, I, I need to remember that. That sounds interesting. I like reading. I like l books where I can learn. I love books where I can learn about different things. Uh, Vitali, I would like to read some kind of history books. Yeah, I like reading books. Of <gasps> yeah, I love reading books about the past. I have a series. I got a book. I think it's called Pillars of the Earth. No. The second one, the word, something like that by Follett, Ke Kevin Follett. It's a series of three books. I got the second book as a present. I need the first book. So I'm going to buy the first book. And it's about England, a fictional place in England. But like in the 1500s and they go to build a cathedral, something like that. That's going to be my next book about history. Elias. Elias Eduardo says, I like Stephen King's books, fiction, suspense, and horror. I have not read any of Stephen King's books. I know I should, but I just haven't. You ah, okay, I'm reading four hours a week. That's good. I like to read books about romance. Nice. True or fiction? <laughs> Fiction or non-fiction romance? Ah. I'm Edelson from Angola, Africa. The last book I read was a biography of... Ah, Michelle Obama. My History. I'd love to read that. I haven't read it yet. I'd like to. I need to go to the library. Do you go to the... Oh. I have bought a lot of books. And I have so many books I need to read that I haven't read yet. There's probably at least 30, 40, 50 books I have. I have not read yet. And it's like, oh, I want to read that. I want to read it. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. It's like an addiction. I've got a terrible addiction. And the thing is, over the last years, like maybe five years, just been too busy. I haven't read much. So all of these books get collecting more and more. And yeah, I like to read books about politics and economy. Nice. I remember reading a, in a book about economics. It was a university book. I didn't go to uni to 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 university to learn economics or anything like that. But someone I know had a book about economics and I and I read it. It was like history of economics or something. It was like really interesting. I like to read psychological thrillers, mysteries and crime. I like to read medical books to learn more. That's a good thing to do. I've done that too. I've read books about medicine. I'm not going to be a doctor, but just sometimes it's interesting to know how your body works. It's just fascinating. About life, troubled, maybe about war. Ah, the little prince. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lam. I'm going to read Becoming after four... Ah, four-hour work week. That's the name of the book. I remember that, four-hour work week. It's where... It's like the concept of working or producing... What you do in one week, but in four hours, it's along those lines, like productivity and helping, yeah, advance. Maybe I, I need to read that because I'm, I'm seriously running out of time to do so many things. I like to read, yeah, so four-hour work week. There, oh, so many books I want to read. Terrible. I like to read detective novels. Good. Alicia likes to read psychological books. Nice. Okay. 
What types of books do you not like to read? Ah, what type of books or what types of books do, don't you like to read? So you can do this two ways. Do you not like to read or you can do this two ways. Oops, not like that though. What types of books don't you like to read? They're both possible. They're both possible. Okay. Is there any books that you don't like to read? And then your answer say, I don't like to read. Beep. Because if you put like romance. Ah, I hate romance. <laughs> like, I don't know if like you like to read it or you don't like to read it. I hate romance books. Yeah. But they're like sold so much. Ingrid says, I went to the bookstore today to ask for the book. The lies they tell us and the truth they do not tell us. But it was not here yet. Ah, The lies they tell us and the truth they do not tell us. They're talking about social media, the news. <laughs> don't like to read women's novels, really. I don't like to read about science fiction books. Okay, Profe. Profe Kimika. Okay. I don't like horror. Yeah, I don't like horror books either. That's why I have not read Stephen King's books. I don't need to be scared. I've got too many scary things in my life already. <laughs> Children are scary. <laughs> if you teach at a primary school, it's scary. That's horror. <laughs> Oops, sorry if you sent your students here. I'm sorry. School children are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, don't send your children, your students, if they're under the age of 18, don't send them to watch my live videos. Don't watch them. <laughs> I sometimes say things that will get you in trouble. I don't like to read fiction books. Really? I love... Ah, yeah, I like to read fiction and love fiction. You don't like to read math books. Yeah. <clears throat> Obligatory reading. Yes, the books they make you read. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes there's a reason. I don't mind it. When I was at school, they'd tell me to read books. I'm like, yeah, I'd read them. I hate horror books. I don't like to read books about politics or political books. Edelson, your channel has been a great help to me. I'm a teacher. Yay. High five. And believe me, it's amazing to see students who never uh, knew a word in English and after some months start to express their thoughts. In a <gasps> that is what I love about being a teacher. That is what I love. Is helping people and seeing people advance. And just like, oh, oh I love that. I lo and they become better people. Not because of me, but because of they improve themselves over time they make the effort they are oh, that's what I, that's one of the things i love about teacher is seeing a student grow in the language and as a person the russian constitution oh <laughs> article 1.3 paragraph 6 oh that would be terrible reading the constitution of any country oh that would be the worst. Mm -mm. I don't like to read personal development books. I do. I like those books. It's just interesting learning about the insights of different people. Because one author says one thing. Another author says another thing. It's always interesting. Uh, Fabi. Fa or Fabiola. Ah. Fabi. I would like some... I don't like some sagas like the Twilight Sagas. I never read the, the, the Twilight Saga at all. I've, I saw some of the movies. Yeah, no problem, but never read those ones. <gasps> oh, I'm surprised. No one's mentions Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. <laughs> like I said, don't send your young children to watch my videos. <laughs> ah, you don't. Also, someone else doesn't like self development books. Okay. You like adventure books? Cool. I love books, science, not and not really natural science. I love books. Me too. I don't like to read fake history books. Really, sometimes I do. Sometimes I like. 
In general, I do. <coughs> Larissa says, I like to read fantasy books. The last book I read was Shadow and Bone by Lei by Le Bardugo, book one. Before I read it, ah, I think Shadow and Bone, that sounds familiar. And yes, I, before I read it, I watched the Netflix series. And I found the book is more interesting than... Ser that happens a lot, Larissa. Many times, the books are much better than the series or the movie. The books have so much more detail and sometimes you're in the mind of the reader. Yeah, so def that's great. Um, hi, Adriano. How's it going in Giovanni? So we have... Um, yeah, so that's interesting. So Shadow and Bone, book one. I have not... Is that like a new series that's come out? I've not seen it yet. But it's something I probably would read. Um, Adriana says, I don't like to read history books when I was at school. But now I'm old and I like it. Ah, I bet I'm older than you. <laughs> um, yeah, like when you're at school, you don't like to read history. Like you don't like to read some books. But when you're older, it's like, ah. Oh. For example, I have the complete works of Shakespeare. It's like really, really big, thick book. And when you're at school, Shakespeare is the worst thing ever. But later, especially when you're like <clears throat> an English teacher, going back, one second. <clears throat> Cold coffee, great. But when you like, and that, in reading like Shakespeare is like it's difficult for me. I've been teaching English for many years, twenty five years, and reading Shakespeare for me now is still difficult because oh the languages. If you're learning English, don't read Shakespeare. You get depressed. Um, Allah, thank you, sir, because I benefit from you in high school. H H S C. What is that? Is it high school? Um, yes, students grow as a person and it's a great job to teach. It is rewarding. That's what I love, just watching students grow. Yvani, Kubios, you live in New Zealand. What part of New Zealand? Auckland, Wellington? Tie happy? Um, the, um, the, the Lux Music, how to get habit of reading books. That is a good question. Anyone Can, can anyone answer that? How to have the habit of reading books? Like, my habit is, what type of books do you like to read? Um, <clears throat> is like reading at night. Or sometimes when I travel on public transport, just take advantage of times when you're waiting. Waiting at the doctor, waiting, like you don't go to the doctor every day or every week or every month, I hope. But if you're waiting... For someone, take a book and read it. Even if it's 15 minutes on the bus, on the metro system or the subway system or the, what do you call it, underground system. Well, just buses or anywhere. Use that time. 10, 15 minutes, it's all you need. Uh, Edelson says, I like reading about stoicism, psychology, politics, and a great amount of grammar books, of course. Me, I love read. I still read grammar books because there are so many things I still have to learn. Like I'm an English teacher, like I said, teaching for a long time. But there are things like, ah, that makes sense. And sometimes just to reinforce. And sometimes you forget things. Sometimes you forget things. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Says, oh, I can never read the Arabic. The small letters. Uh, Larissa, this is a good book. Good. Please, and Allah says, please explain grammar on channel like present perfect. Eventually, I will create more videos about different tenses. They just take time, a long time, those ones. Because I, because me, <clears throat> I don't like to upload just any video. Like, <gasps> I need to upload a video. So I quickly do them. No, I like to make sure that they are <clears throat> well prepared. Um, I hate our school history textbooks. Our history is just a lie. Totally different from the reality. What country are you from, Lerner? 
I'm Arab, and I don't read English books, so I don't know what those books you're talking about. Sometimes some books are translated into other languages. But it's good, if you're learning English, just read some basic books. Like, you know, um, Cinderella. Almost one year and a half, but for me it's definitely difficult to speak English. Which part of New Zealand, Giovanni? Auckland, like where one other million people live? It's the biggest city. <clears throat> um, sometimes I go to, just so you know, I don't know where you're from, but sometimes I go to some of the Latin American events here in, in Chile. Uh, in Chile. It's in New Zealand. <laughs> <coughs> Anna asks you, what the temperature now in New Zealand? Um, I don't know. It's I'm in a t-shirt, but it's probably maybe 12 degrees, 13 degrees. It's stop raining. This is like a storm going to happen. <clears throat> Hi, Tito. I just finished reading Shakespeare's Macbeth. It's a great... Yeah. I had to... I remember I had to read Macbeth when I was 16 years old. And it's difficult. If I read it now, it's difficult. <laughs> it doesn't get easier. It doesn't matter how old you are. <clears throat> it is better to drink hot coffee, I know. But I can't go to the kitchen now to make some more coffee, but I don't care. <clears throat> you live in Auckland? Cool. And you used to, used to live in Tauranga. Tauranga is a lovely city. I used to live in Tauranga. It's near the beach. Um, and it's, it's, it's a beach called Mount Monganui. It's great. Before I traveled to South America, I lived in Tauranga for two years. <clears throat> you like grammar? Good for you. It is important to read about topics you're interested in. Yes, that is great advice, Ingrid. And um, read about things you're interested in. In another language, if if in Spanish you like, I don't know, fantasy movies, read fantasy. Try and read a basic fantasy books. <clears throat> Adriano, I like horror books. Uh, I don't. You can also read a bestseller and start reading it slowly. Taking notes of expressions or new vocabulary. You also have, like, I think of the Penguin books. They have readers' books at different at different levels. <clears throat> They're like, yeah, different levels. Um, what else is there? Uh... You can also read a bestseller. Start reading it slowly, taking notes of expressions and new vocabulary. Exactly. You're from uh, Miramar. That's right. Our school history books are just lies. Unfortunate. Asman. Hi, Hugs from Brazil. Hey, Norman. How's it going? Can you recommend me the college to start English again? I'm from Colombia. Uh, you're talking about a language school? Um, when I was lived in Chile, I represented... New Zealand education, so I know a lot of universities, high schools. Um, some of the recommendations, uh, University Auckland has English Language Academy. It's a part of the university, but it's a language school. Go there. Private ones, um, worldwide. Look for them. They're good. Uh, Adriana's from Argentina. Bettini. I like your laugh. <laughs> Is it contained? Oh, I started laughing again. <laughs> I'm in La Plata. I went to La Plata for a rugby game between New Zealand and Argentina. And I remember this, the cathedral and everything. Anyway. Woodward is the best explanation of the English language in the world. There are probably some others that are better. The last book I read was... Auto de Barça do Inferno. It's like... De Barca do Inferno. Like a... Oh, okay. It talks about the... Uh, Travadorism era. Interesting. Good evening. I believe I'm from Paraná. Okay, cool. Okay, so another question for me. Okay, this is another question. We're going to keep talking about books today. And the question is, <clears throat> what book have you read many times? Many people, they read a book, you know, just once and never again. But sometimes you really like a book. <clears throat> and you read that book 
twice, three times, four times, five times? Are there any books that you have read many times? And if you have, yes, which ones? <coughs> um, are the cathedrals near your house? About 10 blocks. It's a beautiful. <gasps> the stadium that you have in La Plata. Oh, amazing. Amazing. And the Argentinian fans, they were great. Because it was for rugby, you know. New Zealand, we play rugby. And I went for the, the, the All Blacks, the New Zealand rugby team. All Blacks versus La Pumas, which are from Argentina. Great game. And I was in the side with Argentinians all around me. And they're like, hey, and they take photos. And it was great. It was a wonderful experience. <clears throat> so you have read Twilight many times. You've read Twilight many times. Cool. I recommend The Diary of Anne Frank. I have read that, I think, like twice at school. Yeah, it's like, and it's like, it's a true, it's a true, true story. Yeah. And, and when you finish, it's like, oh. You have read Harry Potter seven times. Wow, that's impressive. You don't like to read historical books? And uh, Nwanko. Yeah, your son plays rugby. Awesome. Um, you're from Sao Paulo. Richest Man in Babylon. You've read that many times. Arthur Conan Doyle's Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. You've read many times. <laughs> Thanks for this moment. That's great. No worries, Ingrid. Uh, how many years I, I can speak English fluently? It all depends on you, Allah. It all depends on you. If you use English, it takes less time. If you're quiet and you don't use the language very much, it takes a long time. It all depends on the student. It can take a year, two years, many years, sometimes never. It depends on the student. What is always, um, what I always say, which is not possible for many people is if you can immerse yourself in a country where they speak that language it helps you so much it helps you so much hey i've got i've got hearts too look at this yeah where is it the, these look at these ones there you go those are those are the ones that the channel members get um so you've read twilight three times ingrid the bible in English, sometimes the Bible is like really hard to read because it's some of the languages different. <clears throat> I want to read Harry Potter almost one, uh, almost. I don't know what that is. You like Roald Dahl? That's good. Ed and Lorraine Warren. Oblomov. What's that about, Anna? Oblomov by Goncharov. Ooh, what's that about? I like actually reading books from other countries too. It's always good. Roald Dahl, yes. You got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, etc. <laughs> um, twice. Instead of saying, okay, <clears throat> okay, we say twice. Twice. Once, and then you go three times, four times, etc. Okay. So in general, we don't say one time. Oops. Okay. And we don't say this one here, just while everyone's leaving comments there. Two times, no. We say once, twice, there we go. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times, etc. <coughs> so we say, so Jamal, twice. Elgin, okay, Bible, the Lord of Kinds, Sherlock Holmes. You like my words? <laughs> uh, me too. I read the dictionary. <laughs> I have read the, an, an entire dictionary. 
the Oxford Learner's Dictionary. I've read the entire dictionary, every single definition. Yeah. I read The Shack by William P. Young many times. Ooh, interesting. I've read all of Twilight series. My name, my name's Rob. <laughs> Twice. Can you spell my name? Yeah. Simple. And then I get it wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here it is. My name is... Oh, and you can't see it. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> thrice. Now, thrice, <clears throat> in theory, exists. But this is very old. Thrice exists. Once, twice, thrice, it exists, but no one uses it nowadays. And some people don't know what it means, but it, it exists, but it's old English. Everyone says three times, etc. now. So thrice exists, but, yeah. Uh, thrice to the nine, thrice to the mine, and thrice again to make up nine. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I have several tutorials. Okay. A lot of times. I read several tutorials a lot of times. Yeah, because sometimes you just forget things. <clears throat> if I live in Arab country, how can I develop my English and I speak just in Arabic? That's a good question. <clears throat> um... One, if you've got access to internet, which you do right now, um, you can talk, you can get into different groups, talking with other people, reading in English, but try and speak it as much as possible. For example, oh, that's something I don't have uh, open. I forgot to do my dis the Discord. Actually, I just had to open it up. I forgot to open it up. So, for if you're a member of the channel, and yeah, let me have a look. Um, there it is. I'll put that there for now. You can actually join in for the conversation so I can, you can speak or listen. Okay. So, yeah. So you can speak and listen and some, you just have conversations, try and use the language as much as possible. Writing, reading. Um, wow. My, so... <laughs> Inglés Online says, wow, my name is... Your name's Robson, son of Rob. <laughs> Hijo mío. <laughs> my son. <laughs> Robson, that is the name. It was from Macbeth. Yes. I th And that is why, um, Vitelli, that is why... Yeah, reading Shakespeare, I don't recommend if you're learning. Unless you're advanced English. I also read the series about 12 times. Wow, impressive. Twice plus one. <laughs> Twice plus one. <laughs> That's good. At the moment, I'm reading many times my book of the English course. What's the name of your the book? I just I'm always curious to know what people use in their English courses. What's the name of the book of your English course? Next week, you have a test. Ah. Thrice. So, Lena, my name is Rob. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Once upon a time, the children of Bullerbin. Okay. So, you've read that many times. I was read Lost Love. Can I say kind instead of type? Yep. What kind of book do you like? What type of book? Yeah. Kind is a bit, just a little bit less formal. I have a question. Can you explain the difference between student books, workbooks, and teachers' books? Good question. Um, student book is the books that the students use, which has, you know, the definitions, sometimes some exercises. A teacher's book, in general, is the book that the teacher uses because there are things that explain what the teacher needs to say or do in the class, for example, it says, tell your students to do this activity, or once this activity is completed, do this. So they're different from the student book. It has like more explaining how to be a teacher. It makes it easier for the teacher. And a workbook, 
depends. Sometimes there are exercises. Sometimes it's just a blank book where you need to write. Yeah. Another great phrase from Macbeth. What's done cannot be undone. That is so true. Unless you have a time turner thing from Harry Potter. Larissa, I don't like to read political books. There are more TV news. It's not yeah. I mean, there's enough for me. I don't like reading political books because on TV, on the news, there's too many things like that. Empowered Bedina. Uh, you come in every time, once a week. Natural English was my name. Ah, the next. Oh, the textbook. Okay. Is anyone here, teachers or students, using a book in the classroom? I'm just curious. If Are you using a book? And if you are, say yes and the name. Yes, I'm using a book in my class. It is called BOM. Okay. I'm just curious. <clears throat> this is your first time, Lena. Welcome in, Lena. Ah, twice. Okay, cool. Another question. Um, ooh, what? Okay, here's another one. What? I've lost it. Book or story? This is what I'm waiting for you to answer. Do you remember as a child? <clears throat> so what book or story do you remember as a child? Is there any book that you remember when you're a child? <clears throat> no, I have my own methodology. No books. That's good. That's good, Inglis. That is good. Because some schools, they use books. When... I had a language school. My wife and I had a language school. We didn't have books either. We had our own resources, our own material, our own lessons that we would create. Because yeah, sometimes the books are just not appropriate or not good. Some are good, some are not. Just we didn't. Yes, grammar and use. Raymond Murphy. <laughs> are you talking about Raymond Murphy? Old oh, Edelson, yeah. That's, that's it. They're actually good. I like the grammar and use books. They're really good. I'm a student. No, I'm a teacher in Brazil. English for everyone. It's a grammar book. Interesting. Macmillan Breakthrough. Yes, you're using a book, Asman. What's the name of it? Actually, I don't like textbooks. I don't like textbooks either in the classroom. But some some schools, the people that decide, you need to use this book. And they have to. But I don't... I prefer not to. But, yeah. Some school... Yes, I use a book in my uh, English class called Blue Skies. That sounds familiar. I've heard of it. <laughs> Don Quixote. <laughs> okay. That's the one. Yep, I know that one. It's not an English book, but it's... Yeah. He's chasing windmills. Old Bancho and... Okay. Peppa Pig. <laughs> what book or story do you remember as a child? Oh, Don Quixote. Okay. Quixote. <clears throat> the Little Prince. Principito, The Little Prince. What time do you start my live chat? I don't know. About an hour ago. But I usually do... um, What do you call it? One second. I was going to see if something actually appeared. No, it didn't appear. Hmm. But I usually do it around the same time on Saturday morning. Same day, same time, usually. Um, thank you for helping others to learn English. No worries. Trying to give back to people. I'm a student. I have two hours per week. My teacher doesn't use books. She gives us videos or other materials. That's actually brilliant. I like that. It's good. Jorge! Welcome in! <laughs> Condorito. That's a comic book. A classic comic book from Chile. The author is... Was it Pepe? Pepe? It's a comic book about a 
condor child person. <laughs> it's actually, it's a lot of like jokes and things. That's actually really good. Welcome in, Jorge. How's it going? <laughs> Great to have you in. If you, are, if you ever want to jump in the chat, like Oral, you're more than welcome in the Discord. Or you can just use the normal chat, no problem. <laughs> Gondrito. You remember Snow White? Cool. Little Prince. I remember the book Cinderella and the Beauty and the Beast. Snow White. <laughs> Gondrito. <laughs> you, you, that, that, that's now, not just when you're a child. That's like now. You still read Gondorito. Um, do you teach English online? I hopefully, hopefully I'm doing it now. <laughs> I don't do online class. I don't do lessons, private lessons. I prefer to use my time creating videos that will help many people. Creating charts that will help many people. I prefer to use my time doing things like this with people. So I don't do private lessons. Pinocchio, Asman, if you've, you got, we've got some lots of cool, old Jorge, he has a lot of these icons too, because he's a member of the channel, there it is, uh, there it is, oh, can't actually send that one, hmm, there we go, you get loads of them, I'm Rodrigo, hi Rodrigo, how's it going? Pinocchio, you remember that story? Ah, yeah, you got those ones. You got the red hearts there. They, they're good, those ones. Okay, another question for you. Ooh, this is appropriate for modern days. Do you prefer rum or tequila? No, do you prefer reading a physical book? Or a digital... Okay, I've run out of space. Get rid of that. Do you prefer reading a physical book or a digital version? Where is this one? There we go. 80. Boom. Which do you prefer? How can I understand native speakers who are speaking English quickly? It's just practice. Many times I can't understand many words. Don't worry. Sometimes there are some speakers of English I don't understand. There's like certain, reg <laughs> certain regions in the United Kingdom <laughs> where some people are like, wow, what did he say? Don't worry. It happens. Uh, all it is is practice. Uh, thank you for that teacher. It's good material. Ludwig. Not too sure what that is. Physical book. Fabiana prefers physical books. Danny says, I'd love reading some magazines about kids' computer programming, kids' science and short stories, train models. When you learn about things you're interested in, you retain the information a lot more. I love building layout of tr model trains when I was a kid. Cool. And Vitali prefers digital, Adriana, physical books. Bettina, the audio books. Those are good. We haven't talked about audio books. <clears throat> All of them. Definitely a physical book. Tiago, also with digital, physical, Trini. I enjoy reading a physical book. Always. Yeah, Susana. Me, I prefer physical books. I just like to feel it and the smell of it and just turning the page. It's just like, ah, oh, I don't know. Digital? Yeah. But I just prefer the physical ones. So, so much better. Um, I remember Kaliman. Okay, you remember that one. What's that about? Physical book is better than digital book. I prefer both. And audio, audio books are also good. If you want to help with your English, audio books are another great way to help you learn English. I prefer physical books, but digital version is always cheaper. But the digital version is always cheaper. Yep. See uh, the Here in Brazil. 
Ah, uh, something about something about yellow. <laughs> um, I prefer physical books. I agree. Physical books because of my eyes. Can't watch the screens. For yeah, that's another thing because I spend all day in front of a screen. And oh, it's five twenty where you are. Okay, thank you for dropping by. Thank you for dropping by. It's five twenty in the morning. You've been awake all night. Until next time. Yeah, because I watch physical screens all day, and it's just good to have another book. Another books. What I've started doing, I've started having reading glasses. <gasps> oh, man. Not good. Not good. Mm -mm. Yeah, that smell of a new book. <laughs> I prefer physical, but I only use audiobooks digital. Yeah. I pre oh, Jorge prefers the physical books. Physical... Thanks. Physical book for sure as a kid. Now digital ones. Digital ones I can easily get. It's much cheaper. Jorge says digital versions are great when you travel. Yeah. But but when I'm like on an aeroplane, I, I still like the real book. But if you're on a bus. No, when I was in Chile, I used the bus a lot. I just read normal books. Because, you know, because you have your device there, they might steal it. <laughs> How can I use rather in the context? Please get. I'd rather. Here you go. I'd, which is a contraction of I would, rather read a physical book. Here you go. I'd rather read means I would prefer. Prefer to, I would rather read a physical book. Okay? But so, but look at look at this. This is something a little interesting. I would prefer to read. Now here, normally when you have two verbs together, the second verb is the infinitive. Would. Uh, ah, I would read. I would rather read. I prefer to read. So prefer is verb one. Verb two, prefer to read. But this is the, what do you call it? Conditional, it's a modal verb. Um, I would read, I can read. But here we have to read because we have a verb beforehand. Yeah, just so you know. Um, I prefer physical books and I'll listen to some audio books while I do the housework. Just things like using, taking advantage of your time. What is the difference between in charge of, in charge of, and in the charge of? Okay, that's a little different from this topic. When it's related to this, I usually answer. Otherwise, not always. Because that's just like, in the charge of. Doesn't make sense, that one. Okay, another question for you. How... Here's another one. How do you... I've gone and lost my question. Um... Ah, here it is. One second. Ah. How do... Oops. Where did I just do it? How do you... Choose... A book to start reading. There we go. How do you choose a book to start reading? Do you just look at the cover? Oh, wow, awesome picture. Must be a good book. <laughs> How do you choose a book to start reading? Read physical and sometimes listen to digital books, the audio books. Physical book, books, it's your travel by books list smell and its heroes. Yes, I know it's like I know this is the smell of a book is always good. Here's your next question. How do you choose a book to start reading? How do you choose a book to start reading? <clears throat> I'll just give you a moment. Um uh, one second. I gotta open something up. How do you choose it? Waiting for you to say uh. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, just, just trying something here. Boom. There it is. Okay, here it is. Um, for the title. And then I read the synopsis. Ooh. What is the synopsis? The synopsis is like the... Like a short... Not a summary. It tells you what the book is about. Without spoilers. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It tells you what the book's about. But it's like... It gives you an idea of what the book is about. But without spoilers. And it tries to get you... Motivated to... To read it. Uh, oh, Jorge, uh, I would choose little storybooks. Yeah, totally. Jorge says... In Amazon, you can read a sample of it. They, that are usually a few pages. Okay. Usually a few pages. So it's like, yeah, you can read like the first part of it. That's a good way. On Amazon, you can do that. I choose for the cover mostly. <laughs> me too. It's like, oh, beautiful. It's got a dragon on the front. That's books for me. <laughs> um, what else we got there? The name, <laughs> yep, that works too. But sometimes the name of the book has nothing to do with the story. Uh, there you can choose a book. Yeah, so on Amazon, you go to a book, you can read a little bit. I think on Google too, you can do that. I look at the cover and read the synopsis on the back. So it's interesting how the cover influences, the cover influences a lot your decision it influences your decision a lot and then i'm interested in some topic i usually dig for sources so no one said anything about recommendations or anything like that interesting but that's that, that's a good point there jorge about the the what do you call it about the Oh, hang on, just gotta get rid of something here. Boom. About the using the Amazon, so you can actually read a part of it beforehand. I know in some bookstores you can go to a book and you can just you can just get a book from the shelf and start reading. Here in New Zealand, sometimes you have some. They have like a couch, sofa, a chair, armchair, and you can just read. <clears throat> but there is an expression that Jorge. Has just mentioned, which is great. Thank you for reminding me. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. Now this here, what? How, who can explain this? Don't judge a book by its cover. Larissa, I read Tom Sawyer's Adventures many times. Cool. I choose a book for my favorite genders, genres, maybe. The genres. They're like this type of book, like fantasy, science fiction, romance, horror, thriller. I choose a book by the title, then the title is interesting and it touches me. 101 Ways to Eat Chicken. Uh, colorful cover is more important. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to put this. This is a rule to life. Don't judge a book by its cover. Ah, Fabi. I watch Bookworm's recommendations on YouTube. Interesting. That's good. Judge. Ah, good. Allah has got a good question. Looking at the Covers like Love at First Sight. Oh, that was so good, Yolit. <laughs> Looking at the covers like, I fell in love with you instantly. Ah. <laughs> My brain wants to make love with the knowledge that you are hold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like I said, don't send your kids here. Um, judge a book. How can you explain this? How can someone how can you explain this? Don't judge a book by its cover. How can you explain it? It means like do not 
form an opinion of a book or a person or anything by looking at its appearance. How about that one? <laughs> so don't base your opinion on the appearance. And then there's some good videos and YouTube things about this, about the situation. It's like, <laughs> I'm three minutes slower than you. Don't worry, Baskerville. Okay, there's a thing that says live. In the bottom, down, down there, Baskerville, down there. If there's a little thing that says live, click on the live, and it'll be a little red thing. And then you'll be only like seconds behind, okay? Ah, when you when you stop a video, if you click the live thing, it comes up to normal. Okay? That's my recommendation. You're going to read this in three minutes from now. Exactly, Susana. Bor. Exactly. So, yeah, looking at the... So, it's like... And that happens in life in general. For example, you could see this attractive model with makeup and everything like that. And the appearance might, might, your opinion might be like, wow, beautiful, attractive. But the person could be a real horrible, nasty person. Don't judge a book by its cover. Or this guy, very handsome, muscular and everything, but could be a horrible person. Don't judge a book by its cover. Like, okay? So that's, yeah, it happens for many things in life. And that's what, like, sometimes is like, um, there's a person who looks very poor and ragged and has dirty clothes and things like that. And he sometimes, like, goes asking for help. And like, oh, go away, don't annoy me, like, go away. And this, this person, he's got, like, long hair, dirty hair, dirty clothes and everything like that. Can you help me? And it's like, oh, go away, you're, like... Or does that? But that person was actually in disguise. And the person that helped him, he says, Thank you for helping me. Since you helped me, I'm going to help you. And he's a millionaire. I'm going to help you. Have this. Boom. So never judge a book by its cover. Anyway. Um, uh, it's very... Uh, in colorful color book. No. It's the favorite quote for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what ugly people say. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Honestly, inside of me, I am attractive. <laughs> Don't look at what this, the ugly part of me inside. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a favorite quote for ugly people. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Alvanira, it's a colorful cover of a book, but the content is terrible. Exactly. I understood the meaning of judge. That's good, I'm glad. Teachers, our recipes are kind of... Yes, you have recipe books. There are many different types of books. Many types of books. You have, for example, novels. You have short stories. You got articles, you got motivational stories, self you got poems, a book of poems. But the, the recipe books are non fiction. They're true. You can have news, encyclopedias. Oh, I used to love encyclopedias. I would read encyclopedias, never finished any, never. But I would I always start with the same books. <laughs> But it's like just reading encyclopedias. I used to do that. Just like reading. But I never finished. But now you have Wikipedia. See, so just Google. Okay. But I'll just do it for knowledge. Vitali, sorry I should go to bed. Thank you for a good lesson and have a good weekend. You too, Vitali. Thank you for dropping by. I know it is late where you are. Thank you for, for hanging out. Yeah, so I sing recipes that can be a type of book. <gasps> I have a recipe book that we I got from on Amazon and it got shipped here. It's Chilean recipes. Oh man. Oh so good. So good. It's um one of the author is 
Um, oh God, I forget her name now. Anyway, I'll remember it. But yeah, any other? What other questions on here? Um, do you think? I'm going to include that. Don't judge a book by its cover on, on the website. I need to add that. Another one is, do you think people uh, are reading less today? Do you think people are reading less today? Hey, Alfanira. Do you think people are reading... Ah, this is the book. The Chilean... You can't see it. The Chilean Kitchen, that's what it's called. The author is Pilar Hernandez and Eileen Smith. With photo uh, Okay, the photos. The photos of oh, oh, the food is like, oh, oh man. I would show you, but I'll probably get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the smell of it too. That's a recipe book. So many. Oh, oh, okay. This is terrible. Okay, look at that. Oh. It's just so many. Oh, I just look through this and it's just terrible. It's like, oh, yum. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at that type of burger. <laughs> anyway, the chacurero, dulce de membri. Oh, mote con whisky. Oh, so many things. <gasps> anyway, yeah, so that is a book. It's got lots of recipes and it's a book. Do you think people are reading less today? Do you think people are reading less today in general? Maybe because people's attention span is reduced. Do you think they're reading more today? What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. I I rather read cocktail books. <laughs> so you can practice. Yes, that's actually good. I, I, w I used to work at a bar many years ago, and one of the little had a little book of cocktails, all the all of the main cocktails here in New Zealand, and I still create some of them. Yeah, so cocktail books are great. So you can experiment and try different things. <laughs> I'm what? Ah, if you mean ah, so yes, there it is. <clears throat> If you mean messages and WhatsApp, yes. Or WhatsApp. In English, it's called WhatsApp. I discovered that because when I lived in Chile, everyone says WhatsApp. But when I come here, it's like, what are you talking about? Ah, WhatsApp. Like, what? Anyway. Yes, people are reading more today. Yeah, they lose a lot of time going through the WhatsApp. Going through, going through, going through. It's easy to get distracted, isn't it? Reading more and more. Ah, this is a good comment by Inglis online. Reading more and more social networks, but with less quality. Yes, that is. Yeah, that's a very good comment. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's uh, so true. Reading more on social networks but less quality. I think people read more nowadays. Yes, they probably are reading more nowadays, just the quality is just terrible. Maybe it's a recipe book, because lots of videos available on YouTube. Yeah, there are a lot of videos on YouTube, but I just like books. <laughs> I think in pandemic, people read more. Yes, I think because of, you know, people in lockdown, some people started reading more, which is brilliant. But again, yeah, just a lot of people spend too much time instead of reading a book going looking at facebook or whatever and just watching other people live their lives no imagination uh, maybe it, uh, I th it means some people look beautiful by their appearance but inside they're not good behavior exactly um zara yes i think people are reading less today normally we take lots of time we spend lots of time on social media. Exactly. P 
people are reading less probably because they spend too much time on social media or looking at photos or, or TikTok, whatever those things are. Hey JJ, how's it going? Young people today are more focused on social media. Exactly, they are more focused on on social media. Yeah, so test something. And the yeah, a lot of people they don't like to read the. A lot of younger people don't like to read books. They're just like social media the whole time. And it's causing a bit of a, yeah, addiction. People prefer to spend their time on social networks than reading. I should have a another conversation question about social media and social networks and things like that. Oh, we could just talk so much about it. We could say so many different things. Totally, we could say so many different things. Um... Also, do you think people, this is a good question, have a problem with reading, oops, okay, you can't see it just for now, compre, am I going to do it right? Do you think people have a problem with reading comprehension nowadays? Do you think people have a problem with reading comprehension nowadays? And your answer is chicken. <laughs> I didn't read the question, so I just say anything. <laughs> Do you think problem ever <laughs> Do you think people have a problem with reading comprehension nowadays? 3 well, wow, that's not the question. <laughs> Do you have a clubhouse room? I have a Discord for members. It's like our secret area. <laughs> Jorge knows about the also. But I, I don't put the link there. It's only for the members. Reading a book requires dedication and commitment. So that's why people are already in messages on... On social media because it's immediate and it's disposable exactly so reading a book is dedication and commitment so true uh, Anna says to Russian people told it that and the the pandemic reread classic literature you have a lot of free time okay so they told you to do that if people do read less and less yeah do people read less and less quality material? Hey, Anping, how's it going? They have problems with patience. Yes, they do have a... People have a problem with patience too. Now it's like the instant world. We live in an instant world. Everything's immediately. Send an email. Like, for example, when I went to South America the first time, I sent one letter... <laughs> no, I might have sent a letter but from South America to New Zealand. It takes like weeks, and then you got to wait weeks for the person to respond back. Or like when my wife lived in in Sweden for a number of months. Like I send a letter, takes two weeks. I wait for a response. Like after one month, <laughs> it's like you write the letter. Do you want to come to my birthday party? Goes there, and it comes back after one month. Yes, I do. Great. Uh, and you missed the birthday party. But now it's instant. You can contact anyone around the world. Now I'm talking to you. You are all in different parts of the world. And that is amazing. That is amazing. Um, reading comprehension is a real... Oh, Susana is a real problem in Paraguay. Of course, what they prefer, social, prefer to listen to audio books. You have to also consider access to books. They tend to be expensive, therefore you read. That is so true, Meche. I know in some countries they still have the tax on books. Looking at certain countries there, Chile. Um, there's, they still have tax on books and things like that. I remember 
when I lived in Chile, there's a, you know, you used to like 19% tax on the books. When I went to Argentina, you just go across the border, I would go to a bookstore and I'd buy books, because books in Argentina were so cheap, and I'd come back with many books, because it was cheaper. So it depends on the country. Some countries, books are expensive. I know New Zealand, the books are cheaper in New Zealand than in Chile. I know that. Um, yeah, so books also tend to be, they prefer to spend their money on other things too. So reading a book requires dedication and commitment. So that's why people are reading messages on social media. I'm going well, thanks. About you, I'm doing sweet. Thank you, JJ. Books without copyright are available and free on the web. That is true, Jorge. There are many books that are no longer under copyright. For example, I think there's some there's a famous book that's coming out of copyright. It's not Lord of the Rings. It was some it was another one. But there's some books that come out of copyright as like you can do a movie, you can do whatever you like about the book. And they're free. Okay, Tiago, sorry, I need to get going. I know it's Friday there. Do, 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 do. Go enjoy your Friday night <laughs> next week. <laughs> uh, ZD also. They look for a shortcut. Yeah, they look for the summary. I'm not going to read Pride and Prejudice. What's the summary? She likes him. She is confused. He is... Uh, okay. That's it. You can look for the summary. That's the problem too. Sometimes young kids... They are given a book to read, but they just look for the summary on internet, which is terrible. They think they're being clever, but but they're not. Alicia, thanks for today for the nice topic. Well, thank you, Alicia, for dropping by and partaking. So we're going to have another conversation in two weeks' time. Next week, I want to do something a little different that I haven't done before. So we're going to just leave it like this. Went over time for now. Because a lot of people, it's very late in your country. Yeah, I wonder if I can do this. Is that? Oh, it doesn't appear. So, uh, yeah, many classics are free. But if you want the latest published material, you have to buy them. Yeah, true. It's a complex discussion. Once we can learn through a lot of different ways. Yeah, the more you read, the better. But the more you listen correctly, the better too. The last book I read was A Brief History of Man Humankind. That is amazing. That is good. JJ, in my opinion, due to social media or using the majority of the time, electronic devices, people don't read enough. Also, reading books is healthier for the eyes. Very good. Very good. Larissa, physical. 100% no question. The only thing I would use digital books for would be textbooks, encyclopedias, and a dictionary. Yeah. Umping, the last book I read was Life Without Limits. It was about a man's life. Nice. Are you meet every week? Yes. I try to be the same time, same day, every week. Sometimes I change it to a Sunday when I'm busy. <clears throat> I'm reading The Three Body Problem by Liu Sisin. Well, that sounds interesting. What's that about, Jorge? The three body. Is that like someone that's put on a lot of weight? And they've got like three bodies of weight? Or <laughs> is it to help lose weight <laughs> on your Kindle? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> it's a weight loss <laughs> book. <laughs> or it's a, or is it a book about three types of people? What's, what's it about? <laughs> What's it about? Now let's get rid of that and that. The last book I read was Berserk, Volume 6 and 7. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops, wrong one. What did I just do? I'm actually going to get sound effects. There it is. Anyway, I think we're just going to to leave it 
like that for now. And next next week, I want to do something a little different. I want to actually, I've got this cool short story that I might read, but we're going to look at a lot of vocabulary and grammar, but especially vocabulary. Because in I think last week I did something for ba for students at a lower level about present tense error analysis. Next week it's going to be more intermediate to advanced level. And there's going to be some interesting vocabulary and things like that. <laughs> Books about losing weight don't work at all. Exactly. What are the best books I can read to improve myself in English? Children's books. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, so next week, I think I'm going to do a short... I think. I'll see. But every two weeks, it's the conversation. And next week, it might be something a little different. Depends if I get prepared for it or not. Is the book Chinese? Uh, is the book Chinese? Uh, the book is Chinese, isn't it? Could be. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for dropping by and saying uh, hello and then joining in the conversation. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because you'll be notified the next time I am live. Also, you can also help. You can be a member of the channel to get some exclusive things. I do a private thing for once a week also for the members of the channel. On social media, ah, oh, my things are not coming up. I also let you know when I'll be live again. My accent, I'm from New Zealand. So thank you everyone for, I eat while I'm reading those books. <laughs> and the cocktail ones, also. <laughs> thank you so much everyone for dropping by, umping, um, Alfanira, JJ, ZD, Jorge, Fabiana. Uh, Alfanira, I enjoy your conversation. Thank you, everyone, for dropping by. It's always much better when you come along and participate in the chat. I hope you have an awesome Friday evening, awesome Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy yourself. Remember, take care, stay safe. And, as always, have an awesome day.